In today's video, I'm going to go over how to prepare and fill holes in Boston Whaler gel coat fiberglass. Um, I got this particular boat uh, with everything stripped out of it. So there's a bunch of holes. I don't know what condition they're in. They might hold, they might not. I'm going to assume none of them are going to hold. So I'm going to lightly drill them out, uh, coil out the foam underneath of it, and inject some uh, epoxy resin. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. By the way, I'm going to have an assistant poke kitty if you haven't seen her in a while. She's going to be in on this one, other than the epoxy part, because I don't want to glue her to the boat. So before we start, let me give you an idea of the kind of holes that we're dealing with here. You can see some of these. Um, these are from the old console, which will be remounted. I'm not going to use the same holes, so these are going to be completely filled in. Then we've got... Also got holes for the cooler mount. There's also some problematic ones. You can see uh, this is not an issue. Um, the rail will go there, but down here there was a really, really bad uh, repair job that was done here. So we're going to be drilling out most of this and uh, installing or filling it up with enough epoxy to make it flush and re-drilling those holes. She's inspecting pre-work inspector. So let me go ahead and get started and uh, show you what I consider to be the best method to fill in these holes. I'm going to start with these holes. Uh, these are for the uh, rail mount that goes on on the deck portion. And I've got a little probe here. Um, there's actually a, a lot of wood here. There's also some vacant areas. So, one thing there's old caulking or something. Get rid of that. Yeah, some of it at least. But what I'm going to do for this type of hole is take a drill with a bent nail. And I'm going in there. The reason I'm using a bent nail, uh, some people will use a uh, Allen wrench. I think the, the bit's too big. Having a bent nail gives you the capability to get it in there. So what I'm going to do is really just work that around. And uh, hollow out a core in there. Now, the reason I'm doing that is when I pour the epoxy in there, there should be like an upside down mushroom, you can think of it. Um, the epoxy will spread out and uh, give it a good grip uh, to prevent it from pulling out. Now, before I do anything on this, I'm going to vacuum it out. I'm actually going to vacuum out all the holes um, before we do anything on any of this. So let me show you another type of hole, because this one's going to be a little different. So these are the holes for the console as well as for the... Uh, cooler mount. What I'm going to do here, slightly different, but I'm going to take a drill bit. It's just the width of that hole. Actually maybe a little smaller. And I'm basically just going to expose some fresh material. And then go in with this to open up a little pocket. Alright, so at this point I'm going to go around the whole boat, um, basically the entire deck, uh, core out those holes vacuum them out and then um, get ready to do the epoxy pours. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Very particular in how I start epoxy into these. I'm also looking for soft spots if I find any. Um, hopefully I won't. But if I find any soft spots, I'm going to show you how I take care of that as well. So what we're looking at here are holes. Um, these are the original teak mounts for the uh, to hold the gas cans in place. I'm going to seal these up completely. Um, they, actually, somebody already sealed them, but I'm going to go over them again. Uh, these are the holes for the Z legs. So let me go ahead and do the same thing we've been doing all along. Now, 
there's a lot of dampness coming out of there. Uh, one of the things we're going to do is uh, get it there to the least get rid of some of the humidity that's coming out of those holes. And I don't know it's going to do a lot of good, but uh, I'd rather I'd rather at least try to hit it when it's dry with epoxy than uh, than have moisture in there. Probably not possible, but we'll see. All right, so we're ready to start filling the holes. They've been cored out, vacuumed out, We've got epoxy, a little bit of dye. So I'm going to mix up a batch of epoxy. I'm um, actually going to add some dye to it, and we're going to start filling those holes. I'm going to go with three pumps. That should give us enough for everything we're doing. Now this one's a little tricky because when you twist it shut, it ends up giving you some extra juice. One, two, three. So you want to. There you go. All right, so we've got three pumps in here. Let's get this out of the way. Put some dye in it. Get this mixed up. So I've got two different syringes. I've got a 60 ml in case I've got some really deep holes to fill, which I don't think so. And I've got this 5 ml with a little bird feeder tube on it. And that's to get the uh, tube well into the hole and fill it from the bottom out. Uh, it should work pretty good. We'll find out. All right, so to start, I'm going to take that 5cc syringe, draw epoxy up in there. Which is kind of hard through that tube, but it's still doable. I'm going to go into the hole and fill it from the bottom out. And what that does is it ensures there's no air bubbles that are uh, interfering with it. Now one of the things I can do it tends to be a little messier this way is take that off. That makes it a lot easier to fill the syringe. But you want to have some paper towels nearby if you do this. Alright, so here's two holes from the uh, hatch that I drilled and cored out. And I'm going to fill these. The whole idea is you fill these up we got a nice epoxy base and foundation. I'll redrill these out when it's time to mount the, uh, the hatch. They should have a really, really solid foundation for the screws. Now I'm just going to draw this straight out from here. It's helpful if you have some cardboard to lay stuff on so you don't get epoxy everywhere. Let's 
so one of the things you got to do is you do have to go back as the epoxy settles in fill it in with a little bit more you don't have to but it's advisable at least for me it is All right, I'm down to the end. Everything's filled in. And one of the things I did is I did the sides first, um, the holes on the rail. And the reason for that is if I had done the floor and then gone back and done that, I'd probably be stepping this stuff and smearing it all over the place. But um, the last pieces that I'm going to fill in for the floor are for the Z legs. So I want a really solid foundation for those because that's where the leaning post is going to go. Anyway, here we go. I'll show you what the process is. All right, so these are the starboard side front holes for the z-legs and I'll go through this a few times give you a few iterations of this I'm going to fill the syringe up I don't know if you can see that wipe the excess off put one of these little feeder tubes get the feeder tube up in there and then just slowly fill it and you gotta be careful not to put too much pressure on it because they will pop off and make a mess of epoxy everywhere so the whole idea is fill this hole up complete with epoxy when I'm ready to mount the Z legs drill it back out now I always keep a rag with acetone handy now with What's going to happen here, and I'll let it settle in while I do the rest of them. That's going to soak in. I'm going to have to come back and add some more. And you're going to have to do that with the entire boat, wherever you do these. Now you can see that, but it's already settling in. So I'll, be, I'll come back there in a minute or two. All right, so I'm done with the boat at this point, and uh, a couple of tips. Uh, those little catheters, uh, you'll get, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes out of each of them, and then they start slipping off the syringe. So typically just throw the syringe and the catheter away, start over with a fresh one. Get a lot of cardboard around the boat. Have a lot of paper towels and acetone on hand because there's going to be drips. You're going to have accidents. The rubber gloves will help. But anyway, um, we're done. So the next steps we're going to be doing with this boat is mounting the console. If uh, you've enjoyed this video, hit share and like, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.